Hi guys, my name is Sierra Bahadur Zada. This is Kim Kilsung. Today I'm going to teach you guys Dutch kickboxing combinations for MMA. Now, I talk about Dutch kickboxing because I, I grew up uh, in Holland. Uh, I've been there for 20 years. I grew up around Dutch kickboxing and my style of uh, fighting in MMA also is based basically on Dutch kickboxing. So what I'm going to teach you guys today are the, some basic Dutch kickboxing combinations that you can use for MMA. So the first combination, the first combination that I that I would like to show you guys is a very simple basic combination, okay? The first thing I do is throw a I throw a left hook, I throw a left hook and then a right leg kick. Now, the details on this leg kick as I land the left hook, the left hook I throw I throw a left hook before I land the leg kick for one specific reason to get him to get his hands up and worry about his head. As he worries about his head, I step out of his line and I land my leg kick. And the leg kick is not with the back of my foot, it's actually with this part of my shin, okay? And I keep my leg bent, bended like this. Why? Because there is a lot of power behind the, behind the leg kick, your hip power. There are a lot of people in, uh, in a lot of uh, sports like kickboxing and MMA that they throw leg kicks without throwing any punches first and what happens when people do that if I throw a leg kick and he counters me I'm in trouble if I don't distract before I throw a leg kick I'll be in trouble so if I going if I'm going to land the leg kick without distracting and Kim Kyo Sung counters me with the right cross I'll be in trouble if I don't throw any punches and he sees me coming in with a leg kick he can easily counter me with the right cross for MMA, when you throw a strike, a lot of people in MMA, when they throw a leg kick, they step in, okay? They step in and they throw a leg kick, which they leave themselves very vulnerable for a right cross. Also, what they do, uh, what, I, what I think that doesn't, is, is not right, and what I think that uh, um, they shouldn't do, is throw a leg kick without distraction first, okay? If you don't distract, with your arms first and you go in for a leg kick, counter me with a right cross. If I if I don't distract with a left hook or with a jab and go in for a leg kick, boom. And a lot of people get caught doing this because they get caught in a moment, they forget to distract first with the hands and then they land the leg kick, but they get countered. Number two, when you go for a leg kick, Going straight forward or standing at your own place and throwing a leg kick is also something I wouldn't recommend. For one specific reason, because he is standing in front of me, watches me the way I move, and as soon as I try to land a leg kick, cover me with a cross. Boom. Either stand on your own, when you either stand where you are, throw a leg kick, he counters you, or you, if you're far, you step in and throw, same position, he counters you with a right cross. Now, the right way to throw a leg kick from this position is, first of all, to throw, a, throw a, either a jab or a left hook. Personally, I like a left hook, okay? But you can also throw a jab if you like a jab. So I make a long left hook, and then I step out of his line, and then throw a leg kick. So I do a left, left hook, left hook here, step out of his line, and throw a leg kick. As I throw a leg kick, I step out of his line, I'm safe from his right cross. So I'm here, I throw a left hook, I step out, I leg kick him, and I'm back in my position with my hands up. This is the right way to throw a leg kick. Now, there are a lot of other techniques you can do. From leg kick to body kick and head kick. What I'm going to discuss with you guys today is also the kick to the body and the kick to the head. Now, the kick to the body with the right, with the, with the right leg kicking, kicking the ribs happens a lot in kickboxing and Muay Thai. But what I love the most is kicking the lever, okay? And that's with the left kick. So if I want to land a kick to the lever, same principle. I have to distract him first. I have to throw something, a left right or just a right cross and then kick him to the body. And as I throw a right cross, I get him to respect my punch, okay? I get him to respect my punch, and I throw my, as I throw my right cross, I switch, and I kick him to the liver. Now, same principle, I keep my leg bended. 
okay? And I push my head and I uh, go out of his line. In case I throw a right cross and kick to the body after, after uh, block and then throw a right cross. So I punch, I step in and I kick him to the body. Now he can cover me with a right cross if I don't go with my head out of his, out of his way. So, same principle, as you try to kick him to the liver, you throw a right cross, you step out, you kick him to the body, and here, you go back, keep your hands up. Now, the body kick, we throw with the left because it's more effective because of the lever. Once you hit people in the lever, what happens is, it shuts out your entire body. And all you think about is just breathing and get some air into your body because your body shuts down completely. And that's mostly the moment that you can attack your opponent and finish the fight. Same thing for the head kicks. Now, with the combinations that I like to throw to set up a head kick is to throw two, two strikes with the same side, okay? Either a right right, right punch and right leg, or a left punch and left leg, or a left punch, right punch, and right kick. So these are my favorite combinations, favorite basic fundamental combinations that I would like to show you guys, is a left, right, right high kick. That. Same principle, when you kick, you step out. The reason you step out and not step in is because after he blocks, you're close for the right cross. But if you step out, you step out of the center line. Same principle for the head kick as well. Again. You step out of the line. So we just talked about uh, dash kickboxing uh, into MMA, dash striking into MMA. And the techniques that I showed you were basically the very fundamentals of uh, kickboxing. Uh, actually striking, Dutch, Dutch striking for MMA. And the, the leg kicks, as I said, stepping out of the line and throwing something before you throw a leg kick is super important. And the body kicks as well, when you, when you throw a body kick and you don't throw anything before it, it's very easy for the guy to just block it and counter you with a right cross. Same counts for the, for the head kick. If you throw a head kick and don't distract, most likely the head kick is not going to land because the guy is watching and it's coming, they're, gonna, they're going to block it. Anything you throw, you should create a lot of distractions. And distractions make sure that your uh, techniques land and you're going to be successful in striking. I hope you like my video and um, I hope you guys can use these techniques for your trainings and fights. And uh, if you guys like it, let me know next time what kind of techniques or what kind of uh, videos you would like to see from me leave it in the comments and looking forward to see you guys again and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much stay tuned